Yeah, it's a creepy wizard. Creepy. Morning. I think you will find it's morning. See? It just takes something special, Amelia. It just takes something special. Try harder. I asked the lovely Adam Hatton, if you don't know who that is, he's like my inspiration for the way I vi film, the way I film my videos, so. Gotta love Adam Hatton, I'm wearing his merch. Get it. Oh, Amelia, you stop, stop. Oh, my dream guide, an unofficial guide to Walt Disney World. A book that's perfect for anyone planning their first or 51st visit to Walt Disney World. How did you get in here? <laughs> Link below. I have an important little factoid. What? I may have just got bitten by a mosquito. Oh, yeah. Today's video is going to be a little adventure, a little challenge that Adam has set me. And it is a resort tour kind of challenge and I'm gonna go into some of the parks as well because I mean he's sending me to the front of Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios and Epcot so like she's gonna do a ride. But um, we start our day off at Pop Century and I shall inform you why when we get to the thing that we're doing first. It smells amazing in here. So there is check-in of Pop Century. And this is where we are heading first. Everything pop, shopping and dining. Ooh! Rowan, you wanted a really tiny detail. Well, uh, on the floor here, there's a Mickey Mouse. So here is the email with all the little directions that Adam has given me and they're very, very detailed and I very much appreciate that. The first thing I have to do is, he said, hopefully when you start this challenge, it'll still be morning, just. Um, head to the quick service and treat yourself to the best breakfast in Walt Disney World, the chocolate chip pancakes. We almost missed them, but, but, but they were just clearing them away and just in time we got them. Literally, she was about to like take them back and then she was like, oh, we have some left. So this is it. The day is starting off chaotic, but it's still starting off, you know? We're here, we're queer, we're ready for the pancakes. Let's all have a cheer. I'm gonna try this pancake, because apparently it's the best on property. These pancakes are amazing. Oh, oh my God, the pancakes with the sausage at the same time. Now that wouldn't sound like it's a good thing, but it is. Thanks, Adam. Also, you've got to start the day off right. So I have orange juice, of course. This Simply Orange is really good. Not sponsored, wish I was. One day, one day I'll be sponsored by an orange juice company, I swear to God. Oh yes, there's a pop one. I'm gonna get the pop one so then I can be like, look, every single place I went, I can get a thingy. And I literally have so many coins in my pocket right now for today. Pop century! Also here, if this wants to focus, you've got a lovely gift shop. It's really cute, it's really bright. Adios, mi amigo! Okay, so, first thing to do is get on the bus. The bus is going to Hollywood Studios. I need to put my sunglasses on because it's too bright today. Here's the bus! I am excitement. Hey, it's art and animation! One day I'll get over there. One day. <gasps> It's Ariel! Goodbye, Pop Century. Your pancakes were good. So here I am in Hollywood Studios. This is what the bus area currently looks like while they're doing the Skyliner. They've got the official bus bit closed, but have a close up look of the Skyliner. This is going to be one of the stations. Oh my god, that's an Incredibles 2 bus. That's an incredible bus. <laughs> Punny. Oh my god, it's got Elastigirl on it. What a queen. The second stop on my mission is to take the resort bus to Hollywood Studios. Done that. And when I get to Hollywood Studios, either walk or take the boat to the on Beach Club. Now, if Adam's gonna bring me this close to Hollywood Studios and this close to my second favorite ride in the world, she's gonna go and ride it. I'm gonna go into Hollywood Studios for like half an hour, an hour at the most, do Tara Terra, and if there's time, single rider rock and roller coaster, but definitely Tara Terra is happening because she loves it. I hope you enjoyed that tiny little footage. This is a really good ride, it's better than it looks. There she is, my second love. You're beautiful, honey. You're looking fabulous. Your drop, dead gorgeous. <laughs> I'll go home. Top skip jumping over to tower to ride my beauty, my love. 
She's the queen. I love these gift shops a lot. But the reason why I'm walking through here today is because it's so blooming hot. I could pass out. Oh my gosh, yes, they're being trained. I love it. One day it'll be me. <laughs> One day. Okay, I'm sure Adam will be fine with me stopping and watching these guys. These are the citizens of Hollywood. We love them. In the film Toy Story, what is Buzz Lightyear? She beat me to it. Mia, what is Buzz Lightyear? He's a space toy! She can do it. She can breathe. She can deal. Can she go? She's sweating. There, there's a sign for the pool, the tennis courts, and the stables. And then over here, you've got the bowling green, the grand terrace, and the nat natatorium? Natatorium. Natatorium. And then here, you've got the rose garden, the band pavilion, and the arbitor. Ar arbitum. Arbitum. <laughs> Still a queen. Spooky. I really like this light. Spooky. The elevator's broken. Into the library we go. Hey boo, thanks for being here. Service elevator. I love it. I love you. What a queen. What a ride. There. And I vow to call him Hewitt. I don't know if he's already got a name, but if he hasn't, Hewitt. When I say I love that ride, I really do mean I love that ride so, so much. Um, I recommend you not holding on. You go slower, but it's also better when you do a thing where you go up and then immediately down without stopping and you just fall. It is. I, I love it. I love the feeling. I know people don't like the feeling of being like dropped, but I love it. I'm now heading over to Rock and Roller just to see how long the wait time is because I would do it single rider. Um, but if the queue's like two, 75 minutes. There's a schedule. I'm here. I might as well. No. I can do it. <laughs> I'm really hoping this isn't as long as the wait time because 75 minutes. Ew. Hey, look, it's my biggest fan. <laughs> Oh god, I'm hot. It's the door. Okay, this is where I'll say goodbye to you and I'll pick you up in a minute. Adios, mi amigos. Rock and roller coaster blows out your hair. Also, I live for this stitch. What a queen. I finished. Tara Tara, rock and roller coaster, they are done. Uh, also, somehow it worked out that the person that was like alone for me to be single riding next to them was. Um, in the second car, which is great, and the person in front of me that was single riding got in the first car, and we waited like 20 minutes instead of 75. So, I do advise single rider if the queue is really long because you don't have to sit next to your friends. I mean, it makes great pictures, but like if you just want to experience the ride and you want the possibility of getting closer to the front slash back without having to wait, just Single rider, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm now going to get the friendship boat. I don't know why I just went posh, but I'm gonna go get the friendship boat over to Epcot because that's the next place that my mission takes me. Goodbye, Hollywood Studios, potentially for the last time. Also, Donald's over there and Daisy. Oh my god, <laughs> I love you, Hollywood Studios. I really do. You're pretty. I love you. Okay, goodbye, Crossroads of the World. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, Daisy. Goodbye, Donald. <laughs> goodbye. When you get to Hollywood Studios, either walk <laughs> or take the boat to Yacht and Beach Club. So, I'm gonna go and take the boat. Because it's hot and <laughs> she ain't walking. So the park is there. You come out and you go this way, which is what I was gonna do last year, but there was a thunderstorm, so I couldn't, because they have to close the boats. But if you go over this way, you can get a friendship to the Swan and Dolphin, York Club, Beach Club, Boardwalk or Epcot International Gateway which is the side entrance that we've been using quite a bit. Take the boat to Yacht and Beach Club once they're put into the Yacht Club lobby. So that's right in front of me. So I'm going to go and look in there because apparently it's fancy. Capital F-A-N-C-Y. I'd love to stay in one of these resorts 
I think these are moderate slash deluxe. I'm not entirely sure on the resorts because we get the house because the four of us in two rooms at one of these, one, super expensive, two, nobody wants that. Like, I think we'd go insane. I'm gonna go in, check out this lobby and uh, I'll probably sit down because I'm tired. <laughs> I did tell Adam to like go for it and like, you know, attack me with Disney. So I did ask for this. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Oh, oh, it's really nice in here. It smells amazing. It smells like cologne. This is really pretty. That's really nice. I get it. It is super fancy. So this is the Yacht Club on Boardwalk. I think I'm going to sit down for a second and just chill because I feel like I could pass out. Oh. oh, these sofas are good. These sofas are really good, guys. Also, if anyone was interested, uh, if you, say, checked out of your hotel and you're like, oh god, I don't have any um, juice left on my phone, that there's charging ports just here in the lobby. It's all beach and yacht themed. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, there's a boat. This reminds me a lot of the Orton Towers. Um, main resort uh the Orton Towers Hotel like the flooring and stuff this is really pretty I found the gift shop and it looks fancy oh my gosh it's called the market at Ale and Compass Ooh. I went into marketplace and I got one of these it's a refillable cup that you can get for the resorts so it's $19.2030 I think after tax and basically you spend that and then you can go and refill it for free at different resorts. Obviously, I've only got like three days left and we're not really going to any of the other resorts. But I have it now for the rest of the day because I can fill it with water. I'm leaving the beautiful smelling yacht club and walking over to the beach club to just have a little look because that's the next place. I'll explain why I'm not staying over there. Oh, look. There's little Mickeys. That's super cute. So this is yacht club's pool. It's really pretty. Oh, I want to go swimming now. It's very, very classy here. Very out of my price range for pretty much my entire life here. Unless I like win the lottery. They have a ship shape spa, basically. Health club. Oh, there's a gym. Got a windmill. This is great filming, Amelia. Then it's my fave. Beaches and cream. What a beauty. Oh my gosh, it's Jack and Gus Gus. I need to get that. Okay, one sec. The original mission was to come here and get something here that was the next thing but um if you saw last week's video i went to the chocolate emporium and had the brownie thing and the thought of having more ice cream right now is honestly making me feel sick so just so you guys know we went into beaches and cream last time which is this one just here but then if you go to the side you can go in and just walk in and get like a sunday or something to go which is really cute and really cool and slightly cheaper so if you want ice cream like good ice cream go here Peaches and cream, soda shop, yay. But I am heading this way, because I am now walking towards Epcot. Where's my camera? In my hand, wow Amelia. I believe this is the lobby of the beach club. <gasps> Ooh, it's fancy. I like the chairs. You know when you feel like you're really out of place? I'm currently wearing ripped shorts. They have some really cute cupcakes in here. Like, look at that. That's a Mickey vanilla, and then I guess that one's, oh, chocolate peanut butter. That's so cute. One thing I've always wanted to do, even though there's sand on the floor, was come and sit on one of these. Please, no sand get into my shoes. But I've always wanted to sit here and just chill. Oh my God. Oh my God, it sounds like the conjuring. This is the boardwalk. And then that's the swan and dolphin. Oh, there's a dance hall. That's pretty. And then over here is the yacht and beach club is behind me. But that's the yacht club over there, the grey one. Also, this right here that's moving, that's called a friendship. Um, I haven't really talked about them. Even if you're not staying on property, you can still go to the resorts. Like, obviously, I am doing, as you can see. Which um, is one thing that I was very happy when Adam was like, you're going to do a resort tour. I was like, yes, because it gives me an excuse to go and look at these places. Because my family aren't too keen on just walking around the resorts, I don't think. Like they'd rather go to a water park and I'd rather do this 
so it, it gave me an excuse to do this and spend some time just like chilling and looking at the resorts that I'd love to stay in one day. I am walking into Epcot via International Gateway which is between England and France. Um, this is a second way into the park if you're staying at any of the resorts behind me and to the right of me you guys I would recommend you come in this way because one not as many people come in this way and two it's cute okay and you're immediately in World Showcase so recommend. If you want to go to Boardwalk go across that bridge that's where I just came from go across that bridge you'll get to Boardwalk in about two minutes otherwise just carry on and you'll come to International Gateway. Walk to Epcot I have done so I'm at Epcot this isn't a park day Amelia is what Adam says but like it's me I'm gonna make it a park day Hot step through the World Showcase and out through the front gate. Okay, you can go on one ride. One ride! If you have time, just make it a classic. See, now I'm gonna head for Soarin' slash Living With The Land and hopefully do one of those two. If their lines are too long, I'll probably go and do Spaceship Earth, even though that ride terrifies me and to do it on my own. Ah, and over here is the Skyliner, which you can't really see, but it's behind here. Please hurry up and be built so I can utilize you, thanks. Obviously, I said I was meant to go to Beaches and Cream and get an ice cream from Beaches and Cream. But I physically couldn't do that, so I asked Adam, I was like, hey, do you have a substitute? And his substitute was to go to Japan and get one of the slushies. I'll always have room for some slush. I'm gonna get the rainbow one, because that's the one he said to get. I haven't really filmed much of France this year, and I apologize, but um, we haven't necessarily run out of time to do the pavilions. We just kind of didn't. We did go to Morocco this time. That chocolate chip muffin, oh my God, recommend 100% tangerine calf go go and get that muffin oh my gosh wait it's aladdin oh my god what's happening it's aladdin oh my god i live i live i'm living it's so pretty this is where you can get the kagagori kakagori kakagori slush Oh my god, it smells amazing. I got the rainbow category slush, but I remembered not liking the melon last time, so I got it without the melon, I believe. I did ask for it without melon. Oh well, if I have melon, I have melon. But um, it's basically just shaved ice with loads of different flavours on it. They're $4.50, I think the rainbow might have been $4.80, but um, yeah, it's just shaved ice. But um, it's really good shaved ice that I can't... Mmm. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Good substitute for ice cream. This is crazy. This category is amazing. Uh, it's just, it's melting so quickly and I can't keep up. This is what it's come to. I have such brain freeze, but it's so good. But it's odd, because my teeth aren't going. Mm. I do not know how I did that, but it's gone. It's very good. What a shout. Oh! <laughs> Those are pretty men. Welcome everyone, we are British Revolution, here to bring you some of the greatest British rock and roll of all time. Like this song from Queen, so called Drummer Charlie. Yes, it's true. She got to go. Look at how cute this Winnie the Pooh is. Oh my god. 
Also, I found a really cute area to sit. It was really quiet and then British Revolution happened, which they're actually pretty good. I really like them. I've got to walk away because I need to do one ride here and then go. You want Beatles stuff? UK Pavilion. Also Doctor Who stuff. And I think they might still do Monty Python stuff. What else? Really cute. Okay, so slight change of plan. I might do Living with the Land after. I do figment. No, no, no media, no. Because I was told I can choose a ride. I said one ride. Let's do this thing. No, 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 no. Not, not that way. What a good ride. No, come back. <gasps> figment. No, you. <laughs> I'm right at the front. What an idol. An Eric idol. <laughs> That was really bad. Hello! Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere! But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination! That sign says provision, now, vision, vision, vision. Provision. I can't speak. Sentiment. The toilet brush is Figment! The glove is Figment. The wallpaper is Figment. The teacups and kettles and figments, that's high on the ceiling. You see, Doc, I knew you'd get it, because you got a wonderful imagination. I do? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, Figment. See, Figment's great. Just compliments people. It's so odd, but I love it. I'm intrigued. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. So you do this. You walk up, you put your hand up, and then you can make him play music. Ah, it's Queen. Okay, I love Figment at all, but this is terrifying. You can't really see that one. Let me go to this. But then what is this? Figment, what are you doing? Here I am at the land. I still really love this wall. Not many people take pictures in front of the land wall, but like, please do, because it's really pretty. I can never stay on track, okay? Not when there's rides to do. What is she doing? What is she? I told her. One ride. This is another restaurant I'd love to do at some point. It's the Garden Grill, and basically as you eat, it turns, and then you can meet the characters as well. It's really cute, but um, I'm not going there. I'm going down here. And I am going to look at some vegetables. The time smell of bromine is very strong here, and I appreciate it a lot. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful living system. Also, it's really cool because when you're in Garden Grill, which is up there, I believe, you can see over all of this. <gasps> hey, it's Sookie's house. Are those strawberries? <gasps> they are. Okay, that is terrifying. That's scarecrow. Chicken. That jackfruit is impressive. The virus. Oh, someone take that out. So they have the cacao here. Cacao. Cacao. And then that's the chocolate they use in food and wine. So cool. Also, there's a tour if you want to do it. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Hidden Mickey, just the kids. Hey, look With at that. It, we can produce over 20. Mickey. We serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. Oh my gosh. It's Pluto and Chip. And then Mickey. Look at him. He's so cute. He's my boss. Epcot is done. I've done the rides I wanted to do. They were classics. I hope they were classic enough for you, Adam. But um, they were the classics that I like and hadn't done yet. So now, the next step of the challenge is to get the monorail from here to the transportation and ticket center and then get on the resort monorail to the Polynesian to get a doll whip. So that's what I'm gonna do if I can because it's busy. Whoop. And also there's a party at Magic Kingdom, but I'm hoping they're going the other way on the monorail. It's gonna be quieter. That wall just there is the bubblegum wall. And um, if you want a fancy picture, it's just as you leave Spaceship Earth. But that's the bubblegum wall. It's one of the most famous walls in all of Disney. The monorail service is closed. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go get a bus to the Polynesian. I did not know there was a gift shop at the Transportation Ticket Center. 
but now I do. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Monroe Beach. Our next stop is the Polynesian. For your safety, please don't lean against the automatic doors. And if you are standing, please hold on to the silver handrails. Thank you. I love this place so, 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 so much. It's just beautiful. But my next stop was to check out the gift stores. So that is what I'm going to do. Moana Mercantile is the first one. Oh, they have so much cute stuff here. Oh, I want everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't like Crocs, because who does? But like, these are so cute. If you want Stitch merchandise, like a giant Stitch, this is the store for you. They have everything. Literally, I think every single piece of Stitch merchandise is here. I can't see anything that like, there isn't. That didn't make any sense, but just trust me. Ooh, these are cute. Oh, I like that. Oh my god. He's so cute. Oh, I like this. I have no money left, but I like that. Oh my god, wait. What? What is this? Pat would love this. This is Ohana's. It's an amazing, amazing restaurant. We went here for breakfast, and I recommend, like, I recommend nothing more than I recommend Ohana's. Hey, it's Huey, Louie, and Dewey. It's me, Tyler, and CJ. Oh my gosh. Love. I am now going to this store, which I have no idea what the name is, but <laughs> they do the shirts here. If you want, like, Hawaiian shirts, come here. They have the coolest, for example. And they have... <gasps> They have a tiki room one. Oh, oh my god, 55. Okay, that is not bad, considering the other ones are like 80. Uh, it's beautiful. They have ears, so that's good to know. So if you come stay here at the Polynesian and you don't have ears yet, they have them here. Okay, um, where am I going? The next stop on my list was to go and get a doll whip uh, and then sit on the beach. I think it's about to pour it down with rain. So, I don't think the beach is happening. Um, if I can find a doll with, I'll get a doll with, but I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, it looks gross out there. I, I genuinely, where is everything? Who knows? Okay, so here is where you can get doll whip. Um, I'm worried at the wind, there is meant to be a storm. <laughs> As in like a storm storm. Uh, I can't go and sit on the beach. I'm gonna walk this way. I don't know where I'm going anymore. I'm just going to go for a walk. I've got to get all the way over there. No, no, no. Not, not that way. How the hell do I do that? That way. We're on track again. Um, this, I guess, is the marina. I don't know. He said go to the marina, which is, I don't know, and said walk to Grand Floridian, which is just there. And Grand Floridian is one that I've always wanted to look at. But I've only got about 20 minutes until I need to get a bus to Magic Kingdom slash get on the monorail uh, and then take a bus to Fort Wilderness because that is where it will, what is going on over there? Oh, it's the Aloha Isle the event thing show. It's very expensive. Another thing Adam said for me to look out for was the wedding pavilion, which is just here. So if you want to get married with a lovely thunderstorm above you, probably, um, you've got the wedding pavilion just here which um, he said sometimes those gates are open and you, if there's a cast member out you can say hey can I go have a look but they are closed today um, but there you go that is the wedding pavilion it's really pretty and then oh you got some toilets just there I feel too out of place this is way too fancy for me I'm wearing ripped shorts this is like number one on my staycation list that and art of animation I know that's very different price ranges one is at the top one is at the bottom but it's just so pretty over here. Plus, if you're lucky, you can get a view of the Magic Kingdom. What more could you ask for? That's the Polynesian. Zeus is not messing about today. Do you mind? I have no idea where I'm going at this point. I was told to go and sit in the lobby and enjoy the pianist. Do I like the bins? They say waste, please. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, there's a band playing. Adam said there'd be a pianist. Not a whole band. Oh, this is so fancy. I'm gonna sit and just chill for a minute. Can I please stay here now? I get it, I'm gonna go up and find the amenities, the toilets, the gift shop and the quick 
so. You're not gonna make it. Oh my god, I feel like a princess. Look at the wow. Is that a giant bird cage? Because I'm confused. This shop is called M Mouse Mercantile. It smells like melting rubber. <gasps> That's amazing. I love it. Also, do you understand how much I really want that tram? I don't need it, but I want it. This is such a beautiful resort. Can I please be staying here now? Thanks. This is cute. They have a princess tea party. That's very expensive. Oh my god. Oh, I love this. <gasps> There's a fish. Tower of Terror, anyone? No. <gasps> They're tiny chairs. What are you doing? I have no idea what this is, but this is cool. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse al lado de las puertas. There's an Oswald and Hortensia going to the party tonight. Look at how amazing they look. Oh my god. This hey hey grandma. Tafiti? The other one. There's a Kakamura. There's Maui as a shark. Like I think that's the best. That's amazing. Monorail! I'm on the bus. Back this up. Kind of creepy. I realise now that everyone told me to get on a boat. Apparently I can't read today. She's made it. And just as I make it, <laughs> it starts raining again. This place is super pretty. Look at that. They have their own little like water park. Oh, goals. Also, there's a, there's a little lake. This is so pretty. Thank you, Adam, for saying to come here because, damn, I hear the campfire. I think I might see. No, nope, that's not them. Chip and Dale are just there. But these are the people that I've been waiting for. Hi! Radio, remind me of my home so far away. Put your right arm in. Then you shake, shake violently, shake violently. Good. You do, you hook, you poke, you in, you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your head in, then you shake it all about. That's what it's all about. Your backside, backside. You put your hooks up in, then you shake it all about. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. magic powers like make people dance by pointing and yelling at them. Do Use my powers to make people twist. What's next? A E Y. Join the fear of the Sars Tarzan's turn children. Yeah, this will be the first time I've ever seen Tarzan. You disgrace. I got the hot dog and chips. Uh, this was about $10, I think, which is insane. But it is really cute. Look at it. Yeah, sorry about that. Also, this smells amazing. I'm very excited to eat it. Tarzan's playing. We have s'mores, which you can only just see. Well, we have marshmallows making them into s'mores, which I've never done before. I have no idea what to do. Turn up, man. In my face. Tarzan's grown up. Ah, that's hot. George, open up the, open up the, the thingies. Open them up quickly before our marshmallows demelt. Mum, my schmalls is melting. I'm gonna enjoy this uh, masterpiece that I've created somehow. Magic. Yes. Okay. She's the queen. First small was a success. Yay. Oh my god, that's lightning. Okay, goodbye. It looks like Pat summoning some demons. Just a chill ritual over there. Oh my god. What are we doing with these? I don't know. They're not gonna go in the suitcase, are they? Hey, guess we forgot to finish another video because she fell asleep. Did you enjoy Tarzan? Yes. There's a lot of death. Tarzan's a great film and the fact that we watched it while also like in a forest 
was really cool. So um, thank you, Adam, for that recommendation. Um, in terms of the challenge, the mission, I succeeded. I just didn't succeed in the transport I was meant to take because of the thunder being a thing and also me being stupid and not being able to read boat. Instead, I read monorail, so. How do you misread I meant that? bus, I read bus. See, I can't, I'm a mess. Thank you for including me, Amelia. It's been wonderful being in the vlog. <laughs> If you want to go and check out my vlog series, I Amelia mean, will link it below for you. If you enjoyed today's video, then please do not forget to subscribe just here and then click just here to watch the rest of this playlist if you want to watch any of the holiday vlogs. But until next time, bye! Buy my book!